Namaste and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you one breathing technique, a pranayam practice that helps to activate two very important glands in the brain, the pineal gland and the pituitary gland. This technique also helps to release stress. Brahmari pranayam, also known as the humming breath, is a breathing technique in which we produce a humming sound during the exhalation. This humming produces vibrations which help to soothe the nervous system and help us get into a more meditative state of mind. It also helps to calm an agitated mind, so it's great for children too if you can get them to practice it. A regular practice of this pranayam helps to shift the brain to a gamma frequency, which occurs in heightened states of consciousness. A regular practice of this breath technique also helps to increase the average duration of our exhalation. And this breath regulation and vibrations helps us to achieve um, higher levels of concentration as well. Now, speaking about the pineal gland and the pituitary gland uh, very quickly. The vibration produced uh, stimulates the pineal gland and produces melatonin. So the pineal gland produces melatonin and melatonin is, melatonin is known uh, to enhance sleep, uh, immune system and concentration. It is also known to be an uh, antioxidant in the body, a natural antioxidant. And the pituitary gland produces endorphins, which are the feel-good chemicals in the body. So they help to release stress and uh, just help us to feel good. So this breathing technique helps us to induce a parasympathetic nervous system dominance over the sympathetic uh, nervous system. So the parasympathetic nervous system is the one that helps us to activate the relaxation response in the body, which helps to erase stress and um, get us into that balanced state of mind. I'm going to demonstrate two methods. One is a basic Brahmari Pranayam and the second one will be Brahmari with Shanmukhi Mudra, which is a hand gesture. Now, just a few things to keep in mind. This is not to be practiced if there is any active ear infection. Also, any other medical concerns, high blood pressure, epilepsy, migraines, or even uh, pregnancy, please consult your doctor before starting any new practice, including this breathing technique. This can be practiced sitting on a bed, like I am right now, or on the floor or on a chair. Just make sure that you're comfortable and that you can sit up nice and upright. It is best practiced like any other uh, yoga practice early in the morning, but can also be done before sleeping. I personally practice this every night before sleeping because it helps to soothe the nervous system and gives me a much better sleep. Um, also, um, what you want to keep in mind is that you want to have an empty stomach. Uh, if that's not possible, of course, you can have a three or four hour gap between your meal and this practice. All right. Now, for the first technique, the basic Brahmari, I'm going to just make sure that my face is relaxed, my shoulders are relaxed, and I'm going to use my index fingers to gently press onto this cartilage to close the ears. So I'm not putting too much pressure, just enough pressure to cut off from any external noise, okay? The tip of my tongue is going to be touching the upper palate, so just behind the upper front teeth. My teeth are slightly apart and my lips are closed. I'm going to let those vibrations resonate in my head and also feel all the sensations that this brings throughout my body. I'm going to demonstrate it three times, okay? Inhaling through the nose and then exhaling and humming. After I finish, I'm going to keep my ears closed just for a silent Brahmari, we can call it this way. 
and still feel those vibrations in my head and throughout the body. And then slowly release the fingers and blink my eyes to open. So just doing even three helps to feel all those vibrations working um, in the brain, all over the body and relaxing me. So I do about nine uh, repetitions whenever I practice Brahmari. And this silent Brahmari at the end is also great to just let all of this settle into the body. Okay. Now, I'm going to move on to the second technique, which is Brahmari with Shan Mukhi Mudra. Mukhi means gates. So this uh, mudra symbolizes closing all the gates of perception. This symbolizes withdrawal from any external stimulation through the senses. That's why we're going to close the ears, the eyes. Uh, we're not going to close the nose, but our fingertip is just touching the nostril, symbolizes that we're closing the nose and um, the others will be around the lips. So with my thumb, I'm closing the ear, the ears, just like we did earlier. The index finger is gently resting on top of my eyelids without pressing on the eyes. The tip of my index finger is reaching towards the inner corner of my eyes. The middle finger is just touching the nostrils without closing them, of course, because we need to breathe in through the nose. The ring finger is placed just above the upper lip and the pinky finger is underneath the lower lip. I'm going to inhale. following this with the silent brahmari just keeping this mudra feeling those vibrations and then slowly releasing the hands taking my time to blink my eyes to open so as you might have noticed i'm gently elongating my exhalation without any strain okay I hope that this was useful and interesting. Please do try it out. Let me know in the comments how you feel. Uh, like I said, I love practicing this every night before going to sleep. Uh, and it just helps me to relax um, my nervous system and give me better sleep. But of course, it has many, many other benefits like I uh, mentioned earlier. Also, one thing that I will add while you're doing this, you're turning your focus, your awareness, your attention inwardly. That's why we're closing all the gates of perception. We're closing our eyes, our ears. And um, the tip of the tongue is meeting the upper palate just to intensify those vibrations. So really, really take this time to connect to those vibrations and turn your awareness inwardly disconnecting from the external world. I hope that you like this video. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you did. Please share it with anybody who uh, would be interested in this and subscribe to my channel to get to see more of such videos. Thank you very much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.